but it's my birthday today. I do love a good birthday, don't you? I've taken the day off work. I do the same every year. It's the only time I get the whole day to myself. Unless, of course, it falls on a weekend. And then I have to share it with the whole family and pretend to be really happy about it. When all I want to do is curl up with a nice, good book, take a long, luxurious bath, and perhaps go out for a nice, romantic meal in the evening. Or even have a meal that someone else has cooked. Anyway, I've got the day off work. I've had breakfast in bed and a card from Hubby. I admit, I was a little disappointed at getting just a card, but he assures me he has a great surprise for later. I hope it's nothing like the surprise he got me last year. He was so pleased with himself then. He bought me a vacuum cleaner. A vacuum cleaner? What sort of gift is that for someone? Well, I have been brought up properly and to show my appreciation for gifts, even those you don't like or don't want. But there are limits. And gifts from husbands who should know you better really doesn't count. Why on earth did you buy me a vacuum cleaner? I said. Why on earth would I want a vacuum cleaner for my birthday? He started to look a little concerned then. Said I'd been going on about a vacuum cleaner for months and I'd been complaining about the old one because it was producing more dust than it was picking up. This is true, I said. Every time I hoover the lounge, I could make a new dog out of the fur our three leave behind. But I was kind of hoping for one another time, not my birthday. How is that a gift for me? You'll use it, he said. How about I take it for a test drive for you? See if it works okay. Save you having to do it. How about that? How about that? I was trying really hard to stop the smoke coming out of my ears. But I think he realised it wasn't the wisest thing to say. When I exploded, when I exploded, for me, for me, don't you live here then? Am I the only one who lives in this house and produces the mess? Don't I work full time the same as you? Don't I do the cooking, the cleaning and the laundry? Tell me, why would you be doing me a favour by doing the vacuuming? I would have gone on some more, but he was starting to look a little bit bewildered at my outburst at his very thoughtful gift. <laughs> Still, it's probably the last time he buys me a household appliance. At least I hope it is. The doorbell. <gasps> flowers. <gasps> oh, I bet he sent me flowers. <gasps> How wonderful. <gasps> There's nothing quite like flowers, is there, for your birthday? Especially with one of those little notes attached. <gasps> Husband of the year. I do hope the neighbours are home to see this. <laughs> Hello. What's a skip doing on my driveway? ordered it. A surprise? Well, yes, we have been talking about a skip for four years. A surprise? Well, you can say that again. Well, he's really excelled himself this year, hasn't he? A skip! For my birthday! I know we've been talking about tidying up the rubbish around the place, but we've been talking about that for four years. Does he honestly think I'm going to spend my one restful day filling that skip? That's it. He can go to 
take a running jump off a cliff. If he thinks I'm pulling that thing, he can whistle. Mind you, I could put those old pots in there that are out by the front door. And then there's that wheelbarrow around the back. And whilst I'm at it, I might put those broken paving stones in it. And then I'm going to read my book. It's a good book too. My daughter lent it to me. She says she's not sure if I'm going to like it, but I might learn something. <laughs> Whatever that means. Now, where is it? Here it is, The Fifty Shades of Grey. Hmm. I've never heard of it. Still, we usually like the same books, so I'll give it a go. Who's that outside? Why is Mr Davis at number 27? What's he doing looking in my skip? I think I ought to put some more bits in that skip. You know, I've heard of people having skips delivered, only to wake up in the morning and find them full of other people's rubbish. Dreadful thing to do, don't you think? No one admits to it, of course. No point having a skip if you can't put your own rubbish in it, is there? Hmm. I think I'll put that bag of old sheets and towels in it that have been under the stairs since I can't remember when. And those old saucepans we were given as a wedding present some 30 years ago, and which I broke the handle off last year whilst throwing the saucepan at the next door neighbour's cat. <laughs> it was busy digging up my freshly planted veg. I hadn't meant to throw the whole saucepan, just the water in it. But I kind of got carried away when I threw it, and it sailed out of my hands, hit the fence, and Crash landed onto the garden gnome that the kids had given me the Christmas before last. Doesn't look the same without his little blue hat anymore. Hmm. I think I might go and stick his hat on and then finish putting more rubbish in the garden skip. it. I am not lifting another thing. <laughs> what a way to spend your birthday. Still, I did manage to fill it. I think I might take that bath now. Hello? Oh, it's you. Your surprise arrived. I'm not very happy about it. <laughs> what do you mean, how do I know what the surprise is? Tell me, why would I be happy about this year's glorious gift? I have spent the whole day filling the blessed thing before the neighbours come home and fill it for me. What? The skip. I've been filling the skip. What do you mean, what skip? <laughs> The one you had delivered for my birthday surprise? You didn't? <laughs> Have I checked the receipt? <laughs> Bagger! No, of course I didn't check the name and address. I thought it was from you. Jay Anderson, 54 Burns Avenue. But this isn't Burns Avenue. I know you know that, darling. Don't be sarcastic. <laughs> well, what am I supposed to do now? Ring them up and explain. I can't do that. I've told you. I have filled the skip. They will charge us for it. Unfill it. <laughs> Are you serious? 
No, I suppose you're right, darling, but do you think it could wait until you get home? Hmm? Your surprise? Oh, that would be lovely. But I don't think I'm going to have the time or the energy to go out for dinner tonight. Absolutely typical. The one time he does something romantic and I'm too tired to appreciate it. Hmm? Yes? It's all arranged. The kids are meeting us there at eight. No, of course I would like to go. That was very nice of you. No, it won't take long to empty the skip. <laughs> See you later then. empty the skip and then I had to sweep it out. Got some really strange looks from people walking by, I can tell you. What with me in my dressing gown, inside a skip, throwing things out. One lady even said how disgraceful it was to see a lady of my age rooting through someone else's rubbish. I've never been so embarrassed in my life. Hey! Oh, it's you. Yes, of course I remember you dropping your skip off. I realise now it wasn't intended for me. <laughs> Why didn't I say so this morning? Because I hadn't read the receipt this morning. I only read the receipt when my husband phoned and said he knew nothing about it. It's my birthday today, you see. I was expecting a surprise. Yes, I appreciate people don't usually give skips as birthday surprises. <laughs> you don't know my husband, do you? <laughs> Incidentally, what would you have done had I filled the skip with rubbish? You would have taken it away, naturally, completely free of charge, <laughs> because it was your mistake that you delivered it to the wrong address. Hmm? Would I like you to leave it for half price? Because you can see I've got a lot of rubbish to get rid of myself. No, no thank you, not today. 